I got another one for you. Okay. He wrote a research paper on the stimulated emission of radiation. This is an extraordinary result that you have to kind of be on the inside to appreciate. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll tell you what it is, you ready? So you have an atom with these energy levels where the electron hangs out. It's in discrete energy levels, it can't hang out anywhere. This is quantum. A quantum is units of anything, okay? So it's quantized. Even solace. Quantum. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it if you have a quantum of solids. Uh, <laughs> very Marquez somehow. <laughs> yes, it is. So the, the electron can only be in any one of these discrete levels at any given time. And if it's at a higher level, left to itself, it'll want to de-excite mm -hmm. back to a lower level. And it shoots out a photon in mm -hmm. so doing. So this is what atoms just want to do. If you excite them, they want to de-excite. We got this. Okay. So let's go back to our atom. And we have an electron hanging out in an energy level. Now, I send in light, photons, that are exactly the energy level that'll boost this up. So it's gonna absorb those and take them up, mm -hmm. okay? It's gonna do that. However, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> here's what he discovers. That if you bathe an atom with an electron at a given level of photons that would boost it, it will also spontaneously trigger it to de-excite. At the same time? Yes! Mm -hmm. Exciting and de-excite. No, 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 I mean, it will, it will not, all the, all the photons will not go to just boost it. Gotcha. Being in that bath will also de-excite it. For, for, there's, no, there's no classical understanding of that, okay? So it's the stimulated emission mm -hmm. of radiation. Normally when you stimulate it, it absorbs it. Mm -hmm. This one, you shine on it, it de-excites. Okay, that's a weird result. Yeah. It's a mm -hmm. quantum result that he deduces using math and quantum physics, mm -hmm. yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. And what do we get out of this? Well, we got lasers. Lasers? lasers. <laughs> <laughs> you say that so calmly. We lasers. No, we get lasers. Oh, just pull your hair. <laughs> Pull some, well, grab some. I, I, so it's really an interesting history because there were also masers before lasers, which were microwave versions of this. And Joe Weber, who wanted to study gravitational waves, was working on masers, and they were they were completely overrun. So give by us the, the laser. full acronym: uh, microwave uh, amplitude stimulated emission resonance, or something. I think <laughs> laser, laser stands for you get a look, C minus on light. that one. Well, they, what, no, what's, laser what's stands the... for look and stare. <laughs> Experience regret. <laughs> oh, very good on the spot. Or, or it's like, remember George Costanza with the laser pointer? So it's like, look, a Seinfeld episode reference. Oh, hey, this guy's good. That's very good. That's very good. Let's, Wait, let, so, from here on, let us call it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. So, so, so the laser is an acronym, like SCUBA and all these yeah. fun acronyms. Laser. laser. Light amplification. Amplification. By the stimulated emission of radiation. And those are the three words I did a real in his paper. Yeah. So, th so light would be he visible. He has a sir of laser. <laughs> so it'd be, it'd be visible light. Mm -hmm. But uh, you can. it works with any kind of photons. Microwaves, it turns out it's easier mm -hmm. to make a microwave laser. Mm -hmm. Microwave amplification by the stimulated emission of radiation. So this was, this is just some paper he mm -hmm. does like while he's taking a crap, right? And publishes it, and then. His poop paper. Mm -hmm. then third, I don't know if he was actually he on was the He was experiencing toilet. some brownie motion, oh, if you will. Oh, stop! <laughs> <laughs> some brown, uh, brownie movement, yes. 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 Uh, so that, for me, that's my favorite. Is it? Of his, of his crumbs. Of his crumbs. Interesting, I mean it's, it's an unbelievable technological advance. It's incredible, it's everywhere. Yeah, because, because everywhere. the amplification is, if you emit light in this bath of light, and that light you emit is the same light when brought around that will de-excite it and emit a photon. So, the, so it's, it's almost self-feeding. Mm -hmm. The light that it emits is the same light that it then absorbs. So this, this loop, is can you you can pump light that right. way with the right number of molecules in the right cavity? Mm -hmm. Oh my god! And it becomes very coherent and very tight beam and very intense. Yes. So it's a way of getting like this incredible intensity at this one very narrow frequency range or light range. Yeah. yeah. And so at the time, I'm sure he was saying to himself, "Skin peel." <laughs> yeah. Right. I was like, I'm gonna have a little laser. <laughs> Yeah, I mean the application uh -huh. of laser were mm -hmm. oh my god. So the pe the people who invented the laser, I think it was Charlie Towns, mm -hmm. got a Nobel Prize for that. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
Yeah. Did he expect it to be in like a Walmart? Yeah, I know. <laughs> At the checkout line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah no, the first lasers were, were huge. And so just the idea mm-hmm. that here's a paper that 30 years later becomes a device right. and the device gets the Nobel Prize. Mm-hmm. Incredible. Do you know when Towns got the Nobel Prize? So the laser was invented in 1956, 57, and Einstein died in 1955. Mm-hmm. So he, he was not so close seen, to seeing the laser. So close. <laughs> mm-hmm. So close. And they were going to operate on him. Because he had some element with a that laser? was no, no, stop. <laughs> <laughs> and he said uh, he was already in his seventies or something. He mm-hmm. said, uh, "My work is done." Did he really? Yes, I thought that was classy. Wow. He was just scared of medical care. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I mean, he was still so combative with quantum mechanics. I'm yeah, he did. I, he, I find he, it yeah, give me the quote. Which one? The God does not play dice. God does not play dice. <laughs> there there and are then others. Was it Niels Bohr who mm-hmm. said back to him, another physicist, <laughs> Einstein stopped telling God what to do? <laughs> he kept, it was one of several times <laughs> he talked about God and God's mm-hmm. intentions mm-hmm. because quantum physics is fundamentally statistical. Mm-hmm. It's not does not describe a unique objective reality. It only describes a statistical reality, and this felt very bad yeah. to Einstein, even though he made significant contributions to quantum physics. Thank you.